built at the end of 1900s. It once was a Soviet high altitude spa hotel. Some call it a mountain paradise, others a ghost from the past. Welcome to Hoja Obi Garm. <laughs> Have you ever been to a place where you immediately felt like you want to leave? This is me right now. Although I'm not leaving, I paid for a night. I'll be leaving tomorrow, most likely, unless something changes. This is my luxury or VIP room. I don't remember. I paid for two people so I can be here alone this is my view from the window my mountain view i think i'm going on a little hike maybe there or or there yeah because this is how it works you pay per person the fee the the price that you see on the website it's per person so i paid 400 somone because i didn't want to stay together with the men that i was put together at first this is the bathroom that i have bathtub just like at my parents place back in latvia i like this i like this toilet paper toiletne bumaga hmm. so yeah so i came here thinking that the way it works is that you pay one fee and get three meals Plus, if you want, you can pay extra and get some massage, some procedures, things like that. Turns out, it's a little bit different. If you come after lunch time, I guess, then you don't get anything. You pay just for the room. Meals cost extra. Procedures aren't available. That's what I was told, that they are available only in the morning. That's it. I got a room, a private room and then uh... Yeah, okay. Let's go and see what is the place like. Okay, to this side, the view is more nice. I think I have to go there to show you the place and it's all grandness. This must be some super VIP. Okay, cannot go down there. I don't know what I was expecting when coming here, but uh, I just don't like the feeling of being here. I don't know. Maybe it will change. After I walk around a little bit and have a dinner, my first proper meal, I came here thinking that I will have meals or that at least I'll be able to go and buy a meal. But uh, in the afternoon, no meals, just the shop, some snacks, the mountain air, it's amazing. Hmm. Where do I go? How do I get up the mountain? Not in one of these, I guess. These look like not operating anymore yeah these look like they have seen better times a retirement home stuck in the 70s 1970s the times of soviet union in tajikistan that's how some travelers have been describing this place and uh, 
I must say that that's how it feels. It also feels like an old Soviet hospital, but the nature nature here is incredible. And when I look at these mountains, I want to go up some of them. The view from up there must be incredible. But for now, let's take this hiking trail here. Let's go where it takes us. I still have some time until dinner time. At 5.30 they start serving dinner. As I understand, it's a buffet style dinner. And if you are like me, if you are paying for it, then it's 30 some money for the whole meal. I'll show you what it's like and how much it costs when I go there. Must be 30 some money, yeah. That's how I understood. And it has started losing. Speaking of the place and the vibe, the atmosphere that I said that I don't really like is the thing is that I just don't like Soviet hospitals. Not the best childhood memories. Yeah, but being outside in the nature is amazing. These views, they have already started changing my mind. I may decide to stay here after all, without any procedures or anything. Just for the nature, nature therapy, and some hiking, some oddech na природе. So it's a personal thing, I also didn't know how I will be feeling before coming here. But yeah, when I arrived and I immediately felt like I'm thrown into an old Soviet hospital back to my childhood and I wanted to run after my driver, taxi driver and ask Take me back to Dushanbe. Yandex Oslik, available all over Tajikistan. Let's go up this mountain and see where this Oslik trail will take us. This goat and cow trail and Oslik trail. The hotel is behind me. Seven floors and 700 rooms. Nice views from up there. If you are a goat or cow or Oslik in Tajikistan, these are the views that you get daily on your commute. Let's go a little bit higher. And then dinner. And just look at the mountains on the other side. Amazing. One thing that I like to see is that this hotel, this one, Koja, is not the only one. I see that there are more options where to stay. So unless you are looking for the Soviet experience, then you can also go to some other place. It's not the only option. Oh, an eagle, an eagle. Pretty amazing, isn't it? It isn't just a goat trail, it's also a toilet, as I noticed just now. So let's try to avoid to so let's try to avoid stepping into some kakashki. Let's try to go here. I want zero kakashki on my shoes. Now, dinner time. And tomorrow I'm making a decision. 
I think I'm not making a decision today or tomorrow. Am I staying or going? Weather-wise is definitely a nice change after the never-ending plus 35 plus 40 that I had in Uzbekistan for the last months and now in Tajikistan. I just made a decision not eating breakfast here. Luckily, I have my oatmeal with me, but I am yeah, worst meal in Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, worst meal in the last two, three months. Looks like here is another option where you can come for a meal if you don't want to eat there. And I almost ended up having a Snickers for dinner, which wouldn't be much worse. Turns out that um, if the dinner time is 5.30, then you have to be there at 5.30. They finish serving in about an hour. So I had to have what was still available. So this is hotel from up close, from the other side. I was reading that some two decades ago the hotel was on the brink of being closed but then something happened, I don't know, some reconstruction or what and it was saved only I don't know what did they do why it's in such a state as it is I'm not sure if I'm... Whew. no Yeah, I don't know what was done, but the place was saved and so you can visit it. Something that a couple more decades earlier was possible only for people with the right connections, people who know the right people. Now, as long as you can pay, you can come and stay here and get the treatments. Babkine semanchke. See you tomorrow. Morning. I have made a decision. I'll be going and going to a place you have probably never heard of. See you. See you soon.